Welcome to the Adaptation Funds course on gender mainstreaming throughout the project or program life cycle. The gender mainstreaming course is split into three modules relevant to the different stages of the Adaptation Fund project or program life cycle. This module focuses on gender mainstreaming at the implementation, monitoring and knowledge management stages. The objectives of the module are to understand gender mainstreaming throughout project implementation, understand the requirements for gender mainstreaming at the different stages of implementation, know how to share and support others through knowledge management. This module has three sections and takes 14 minutes to complete. You can pause at any time to apply part of the training or take a break and return at your leisure. Implementing entities must ensure the full and effective implementation of the gender responsive interventions in the project proposal. In line with the gender continuum presented in module one of this course, during implementation, the project should follow two principles stated in the Adaptation Fund gender policy. Do no harm to gender equality and to do good, creating opportunities for gender transformation whilst also delivering with a view to safeguarding the sustainability of gender responsive interventions following the completion of the project or programme. Each element builds on the other to ensure the overall project or programme delivers gender responsive activities and outcomes and strives for gender equality throughout implementation and beyond the completion of the project. Implementation covers the full project lifetime after the proposal has been approved, with three main phases. First, startup arrangements at the start of implementation, including participatory review processes, gender awareness trainings, and setting up a grievance mechanism. Second, monitoring and evaluation during and after implementation, including performance and reporting. And third, knowledge management during and after implementation, including information sharing and learning. In the next sections, each phase will be covered in more detail. Section 1. Gender mainstreaming activities at the start of project implementation. From the start of the implementation stage, the following resources should already be in place. Adequate gender expertise in the implementation team. Preparatory workshops or training sessions to support gender mainstreaming. Appointment of gender focal points by partners, including implementing entities and executing entities. And regular review meetings with the executing entities and stakeholders. Additionally, all implementing entities must identify and have in place a grievance mechanism which can be pre-existing, national, local, institution or project specific that is able and competent to provide men and women affected by fund supported projects and programmes with an accessible, transparent, fair and effective process for reviewing and addressing gender related complaints and grievances. If a grievance mechanism does not already exist, it must be set up at the very start of the project and all parties made aware of it. Key considerations for inception or early implementation include Review the validity of the assumptions and information regarding the characteristics, needs and interests of men and women. Identify any unforeseen challenges barriers or restrictions related to equal participation of gender groups or specific subgroups, and access the contribution of implementation in strengthening gender responsiveness and promotion of gender equality. Gender mainstreaming should be reviewed at the start of implementation and revisited regularly to support best practice during monitoring and evaluation. Section 2. Gender Mainstreaming Activities for Monitoring and Evaluation Monitoring is a mechanism to track gender risks, track gender targets and outcomes, 
change activities or set up outreach as needed. Assure that the impact of the project or program is effectively contributing to gender equality. Implementing entities are required to monitor gender mainstreaming on a regular basis, engage with implementation partners such as the executing entities and continue stakeholder engagement as needed and report on their findings via their project baseline data report. Monitor gender risks and the achievement of specific gender targets and gender responsive outcomes. Gather gender disaggregated data against the quantitative gender responsive targets and indicators and qualitative gender outcomes. Submit annual PPR and MTR, when applicable, informing detailed project or programme progress, specifically in the Gender Policy and Lessons Learnt sections. Participatory monitoring is key to ensure the successful implementation of gender mainstreaming within the project or program. The benefits of participatory monitoring are building ownership of partners and beneficiaries for the intervention and increases their gender capacity, and it allows the implementing entity and executing entities to identify gender mainstreaming challenges from those experiencing them and make any changes required as they arise. Key considerations from participatory monitoring include regular communication with stakeholders, for example, implementing and executing entities and all beneficiaries. Prioritise involvement of identified subgroups, especially those often left out in consultation and decision making, for example, marginalised groups such as Indigenous, disabled or other vulnerable women. Best practice monitoring also includes an assigned adequately resourced staff member with gender awareness and expertise and a baseline data report to build from that includes quantitative and qualitative gender baseline data. Gender responsive evaluations are instruments for learning and accountability as well as supporting future projects. Evaluations contribute to gender equitable distribution of benefits and gender equality within the project. The evaluation should understand if gender concerns have been integrated into every stage of the project, determine strengths and weaknesses of gender mainstreaming efforts, recommend lessons learned for the future, and identify and share actions that could be replicated or scaled up in similar future interventions. Information gathered during the evaluation stage also supports the next stage of knowledge management. Evaluation should occur during and at the end of projects or programmes. At the end of the project, the evaluation will assess to which extent the gender integration was successful. An excellent project will have included concerns and inputs from different gender groups during the course of the project or programme implementation and provided opportunities to enhance adaptation and reduce vulnerability for diverse gender groups distributed benefits and results equally, and led to more equal opportunities. The implementing entity is required to conduct monitoring regularly and submit Annual Project or Program Performance Report, a PPR, Midterm Review, MTR, of projects or programs with four or more years of implementation, and a final evaluation within nine months of the project or program completion. Implementing entities are required to report their challenges, progress and other findings in a section on gender policy compliance in the PPR and include a lessons learned tab for quantitative and qualitative gender outcome reporting. Additionally, it is essential that the MTR assesses the assumptions made during the proposal development stage and that final evaluations include assessment of the gender equality performance of the projects and programmes. Under the Adaptation Fund's evaluation policy, implementing entities are required to select and commission an independent evaluator or evaluation team to conduct final evaluations. The work should include an assessment of the project's contribution to gender equality and empowerment of women and girls. 
Section 3. Gender Mainstreaming Activities in Knowledge Management Implementing entities are encouraged to share with the Adaptation Fund their outreach, communication and information on the progress, challenges and innovations on gender equality and women's empowerment related to Adaptation Fund projects or programmes. Information sharing also includes communication with a wide array of stakeholders, such as fund partners, peers or other implementing or executing entities, beneficiaries and climate-related expert groups. Sharing of gender mainstreaming best practices and lessons learnt is in line with the mandate to the Adaptation Fund and all its partners to accelerate learning on the implementation of gender responsive adaptation actions and contribute to addressing existing knowledge, data and institutional capacity gaps. The Adaptations Fund's website hosts knowledge products and news stories under knowledge and learning and news and events. Key considerations for knowledge management include integrate gender aspects throughout reports and publications using gender sensitive and transformative language. Include women's organisations, gender equality advocates and experts as sources of information. Portray gender diversity in photos and show both men and women as actors in various capacities and with various capabilities. Gender mainstreaming efforts should always be shared, promoted and communicated to support gender equality and sustainability of the project. Examples of knowledge products can be found on the Adaptation Fund's website. These include publications such as the study on intersectional approaches to gender mainstreaming in adaptation relevant interventions, and the report Assessing Progress, Integrating Gender in Adaptation Fund Projects and Programmes, and project stories such as these examples from Costa Rica and India. The Adaptation Fund's gender theme can be accessed on the website under Knowledge and Learning, Knowledge Themes, Gender. Let's review our learning from Module 3. When implementing an Adaptation Fund project or program, before implementation, the project or program needs to ensure adequate staff and resources to integrate a gender responsive approach, establish a grievance mechanism, and review process. Monitoring and evaluation occurs during and after implementation, including reporting project progress. Knowledge management occurs during and after implementation, including information sharing and learning. By ensuring a gender responsive project design and implementation, the implementing entity is upholding the rights of every person, regardless of their gender, and attaining the goal of gender equality. Test your knowledge with this quick quiz. True or false? True or false, project reviews should only occur when there is a formal evaluation to be completed. It is false. Reviews should be carried out regularly to stay aware of any gender mainstreaming issues in real time. True or false, the gender assessment and the gender action plan can be updated if gaps or flaws are identified. It is true. During implementation, they can be revised, improved, further addressed or adjusted as needed. True or false, gender mainstreaming should be centrally integrated throughout reports or publications. It is true, and lessons learned and best practices shared widely as knowledge products, public information and media. Thank you for completing Module 3 of the Adaptation Fund's course on gender mainstreaming throughout the project or programme life cycle. We hope you've gained the tools and knowledge to mainstream gender considerations in your projects and programmes to address and promote gender equality.